Hi, Matt here and welcome to M2M and welcome to this new series called Quick Questions, following on from Quick Vids and Quick Update series with short videos. This time it's about asking questions that you, the viewers or people that have asked questions on social media, that they want to know about anything related to rockets, launches, spacecraft, probes, satellites, orbital mechanics or anything related to space travel or even historical space exploration. In the description of this video, you will find an email address and a link to my Discord server. On the Discord server, you will find a channel named Quick Questions. Message me about it um, on either of those. And if you and I think it can be explained in under three minutes in the video, and it's going to be an interesting one for the viewers, then I'll do it. And if you like, I'll shout you out in the video and even mention your YouTube channel if you have one and link your channel or social media in the description. So on with the first question in this series. There was a question I came across on a Facebook comment and it's about this rocket. And the question went something like, what is the orange fireball coming from the engines and scorching the tanks before the engines ignited at liftoff? Well, yep, yeah, I think I can answer this question in under three minutes. So start the clock. This is a Delta IV heavy rocket and it's been the heavy payload workhorse for United Launch Alliance for, for a while now, but sadly it's due to retire soon. The important thing to note about the Data 4 Heavy is it's fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen of course. Simply put, the flame you see is hydrogen gas being burned off, but in a controlled manner. Why? Well, it's all to do with the ignition sequence of the Delta IV engines. Unlike the shuttle that also used liquid hydrogen as a fuel, but its RS-25 engines are cooled by pumping liquid oxygen into the regenerative cooling system well before launch. But the RS-68 engines on the Delta IV Heavy doesn't have a regenerative cooling system and instead uses an ablative material around the exhaust nozzle to manage heat. But then they are chilled down just before ignition by pumping very cold liquid hydrogen into the engines and then burning off the gas before the engines ignite and lift off. So that's the bright orange fireball traveling up the rocket you see before ignition. But I promise you, it's not doing any harm to the rocket and the scorching doesn't matter as this rocket is disposable, won't be recovered and obviously not used again. There is more to it than that, but that's a bit more complicated and that's gonna take much more than three minutes to explain. So stop the clock. Thanks for watching. Always a pleasure, never a chore.